So, look, I maybe got an hour left on my lifeline timeline here. Don't hold me to it. Don't hold me accountable. Don't get mad at me. The thing is, like, we, we got the proof.txt for Chacabra, but I'm pretty sure they rotate flags. I'll do it later, off stream. I try to respect everyone's attention. Uh, what day is it today? It's January 2nd, 2024. Don't forget that four at the end there. It's really important now. If, you, if you're wrong, then you're very wrong. We need to make a directory for nmap, so we just have a folder to put our stuff in. I like to use tac p because that will force the directory creation or not error, if it already exists. We'll use nmap tack v for verbose because I like to see what's coming as it comes. Tack sc for safe, default, default scripts, I think. Ipsec would be very mad at me. Tack sv to enumerate versions. Let's do an all ports. Let's just stage this so we can slap it in real quick. But before I do, let me do a quick ping. Okay, cool. I'm not an idiot and it is connected. So let's get in that directory. That one. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go. Whoa! That 3306 is my sequel, right? Don't forget, everybody, that I'm out of practice, I'm rusty, and those are my excuses, and you better believe me. And I might make mistakes, and I don't know everything, and yeah. All ports are still going, but we got 80. SMB? Can we use SMB map on that? And my sequel. Updating my Cali VM was a, was a mistake. <laughs> That's too real. All right, all ports is everything that we already saw. So I don't think we need to go too deeper on that. Let's go look at the old website. And we should also try to figure out some of our tooling for SMB. Can I use SMB map on that? You specify a host to attack capital H. And we have our IP address. Can I map that? And let me tee that. Make a directory for SMB. We already did. Oh, look at that. We have a little IT department share accessible to us with read and write permissions. The comment here is do not remove this share. In case you are not authorized to use the system, leave immediately. Well, that's clearly a part of <laughs> our capability here. Is Cali Purple still a thing? Yeah, I think so. I have not looked back on it, not gonna lie. So HTTP gives us a cheesy, broken website under construction. Things we need to install camera feeds, update our personal, install a control panel. Knee jerk reaction, I do want to control you just to view the source. Nothing really here. What is that? Leave this site right now? They're angry. They woke up on the wrong side of the bed every day of their lives. We've all been there. Let me do a stupid robots.txt and then let's do some quick HTTP enumeration. We didn't have to do this whatsoever in last night's box because the Baba Gadoosh one, the Shguba, the, sh the whatever that was called, did not have really anything to enumerate. It was just command injection through ping right away. I am trying to figure out how I like to do these for enumeration. I'm starting to consider whether I want directories for like port 80 or port 22 or port whatever. I think that might make more sense than just, oh, HTTP or whatever. I think that enumeration, when we start to like do our own recon, because I like to create subdirectories like, oh, dub, 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 for things that I will serve or privesk or exploit. Ferox Buster. Here's a quick poll chat. Can I do polls in, I don't have Ferox Buster? Dear God. I don't think I can create polls in um, Restream. I'm getting distracted. You guys are tweaking me out here. What is your HTTP or web enumeration tool of choice? Are you a fellow Ferox Buster? Are you a Go Buster? Are you a Rust Scan? Are you, well, Rust Scan is Nmap, right? I think that's it. I think that's it. Are you a Dur Search? Are you a Derb? There's so many. I'm only one man. Can't make these decisions on my own. Ferox Buster URL with that thing. Let's put a little HTTP in front of it. Ferox Buster has an output file, right? Tag O. It'll still display it on centered out, right? Pretty sure. Ferox Buster. I didn't even use, God damn it. I didn't even supply the tack O flag to have output. That was dumb. So what I'm thinking, my thought is that we have right access on this SMB share. It is very likely going to be maybe, potentially, possibly something that is tuned into the HTTP service. If this is index.http. If it is a PHP web show, files, no. Okay, index.html, maybe? Yeah, so that's HTML. No server-side processing with PHP. But there are a couple things in here. We saw CCTV actually get a hit. These others are 404s, which I don't trust, but CCTV might give us something. You can upload storage. Oh, okay, thanks. Ferox Buster will already do, I think, some of its recursive shenanigans, but with a supposed CCTV, I'm, I don't know if that's supposed to be, yeah, can I get anything else there? Let's run that CCTV, but let's specify some file extensions. And then we should go back and look at our uh, SMB server because that didn't have any file extensions. 
I don't think it tried any. Just PHP, HTML. Is that fine? Text, log? Like those are dumb. I don't know if that's gonna get anything. We can also hit a couple other enumeration tools. I do like Dir Search a lot. That has saved my butt. If just because it auto selects a better word list. <laughs> what are you doing, Ferox? Get out of here. Let's go check out the SMB server. I'm sorry. Let's move into our SMB directory. We know that we have our IT department shared. So we can SMB clients that IP address backslash backslash, I think. So I didn't supply a password there. We're supposed to have write access there, right? So we just put something there. Question is, where is it gonna go? Please subscribe. What do we call this? Hello dot text, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter. No password because we have anonymous authentication. There is nothing currently in the directory. We can simply put our hello.txt. And there we go. Now we have our hello.txt written on the server, at least in that SMB. PWD isn't going to tell me much because it's just under the IT department. So nothing else from Ferox Buster, seemingly. I almost, I almost want to kill it. Do you think I'm Jump in the gun if I do that. Let's use Dir Search. Do I have Dir Search? No. I need to start hacking on this virtual machine more. I always use my laptop. That's my excuse. I told you last night. Grab that IP. Uh, let's have an HTTP at the end there. It'll automatically add it. Never mind. I'm dumb. Do your thing. Do your thing, girl. Those are all 403s. They don't matter to me. I don't care. We can go to CCTV and see if our hello.txt is there, but we don't have access to that. Do we have... There's no way we would have a hello.txt in the root because we would see that. Install a control panel. I'm just guessing. Probably a very bad idea. Ooh, look at that logs directory though. Thank you, thank you. See, that's why we use Dir search, everybody. What the fudge? Of course, they're all empty anyway. Management.log though is interesting. Why is this here? These are logs from 2020. Web control. I should probably actually read. This might give us at least, this might clue us in at some other potential directory things. So we've got MySQL, PSPY's running. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, last time I turned this thing on, 2020. Maybe. There's a, a genuine possibility. So Don is presumably a user in the home directory. We also have Ganymedes, photos. Don has an ID department, web control and product control. And they're executing this as this user, ID 1000. Should web control and product control be things that I can access though? Web control is CH1777, fair point. PHP query, is it actually doing some PHP things? If I could get this to like be rendered with PHP in some way, somehow, we might be able to have input on this, but I don't know if we do. I'm just seeing the same stuff over and over again. I don't know about you. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you, but there's not a whole lot there for me. So web control and product control, we can keep in the back of our mind though. Cron seems to be running this over and over and over again. Hence, Cron. I'm not just like random web roots. It's in our personal. It's all a control panel. That's all that we saw. We can do some like stupid, cool, like custom wordless generator on that page, but that feels like dumb to me. I feel like that's a bad way to use cool, but that's the only way that I remember. Is that even a worthwhile path? Cooler. Oh, I like that one. What is this? Try a password in the get request? I am curious. Wasn't there an FTP server? I don't think so. No, we could try to hit MySQL, but like, we don't have creds. Unless it just like, has no password, whatever reason, on a root user. That's just not likely to me. What's all ports got for results? Username, SA, password, SA. It's not a Windows box. Username and log. Oh, fair point. Maybe we could try to brute force some of those. That would be stupid, but a possibility. You can't really put anything past a lot of the Proving Grounds boxes, especially because they all came from Vulnhub. <laughs> Vulnhub had some wired stuff. Scan for higher port numbers. Did I like not even look at? No, all, all port scan had nothing. I'll do it again. But like that's all I saw, right? We do have some users though. We did get some slash Dawn and Ganymedes. So we can try that. That seems so desperate, but I would assume that's the way in. What is that? So we're using Hydra, right? Usernames, and then we can use some stupid user share word lists. Have I not even extracted this? I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed. <laughs> Literally have not even extracted Rocky. Excuse me. Oh, that's owned by Root though. I'd love to make that owned by me, 30 please. We are uh, on the fail train together on a baby easy, Literally rated easy difficulty box. Oh, did I just bring myself all the way back? I did, I fell out of my directory. And we can use SSH on that IP address, which is simply that. I've taken no notes, <laughs> like none. I do like to add VIF 
to Hydra. In the similar vein of beeswax, as is the running joke for the stream, I think it's verbose and then it is willing to interrupt and then it will force? Hello? Did you die? It didn't even have SSH open. I'm an idiot. I'm a goddamn idiot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I told you the fail train. No, there isn't even a 22. You're right. You're right. Guys, stop watching this. I can't. <laughs> We're, none of us are safe. <laughs> no one is immune. I don't know if it could spread to you. <laughs> Root 445? Stig viewer was telling me, like, look, you could do something with your right access. Once I get to the breaking point of like, no, I'm sorry, I'm making too many goddamn mistakes. We'll just, uh, we'll write up. But the whole squad is here. Which version of SMB is on it? Through, it's a, a Samba, so, I mean, I doubt that there's anything worthwhile in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's not gonna be anything for some. <laughs> a page and a half. We didn't really get a full-blown version for that, though. Oh, no, we did. 4.9.5. But that's relatively recent. Yeah, that's not like super dead. Someone said update search exploit. I'm like, oh, okay, uh-oh. Thank you for hand-holding me, chat. Do you all like have this box memorized and you like do this in your sleep? Or are you looking at the right? And I will accept defeat. If you tell me like, no, I just know what to do because I'm a goddamn genius, then that's fine. That's a fine answer. I just want to know. Run Hydra with those usernames against SQL. That's a fine idea. We could do that. Hydra can do MySQL, can it not? Yeah, MySQL, supported services, just like that. Easy peasy. All right, so we already had a Hydra command, I think, but we should do it again. IP address. Go. Will that work? Maybe. Just gonna beat up the box. Probably gonna fall asleep to the stream. How are you gonna do that while I'm screaming and shouting? Of my computer over and over. Ah! I get that it's writable, but what does that do for me? I'm still on that share. Oh! Oh! I think, I think I understand. What you're trying to tell me is that there's a little, <laughs> there's a web control thing that's just flat out executed. Product control, I think is the one that actually fires. Throwing with bash. So I could just write product control there. Whoo! <laughs> Bro, fellas, my friends, family, brothers and sisters, this is a joyous occasion. Let's find a goddamn IP address. No, no, our own IP address. Okay. You did it, chat. You did it. We, we thank you for this. I will... I can't even say, oh, it's Monday, as if I had some excuse. Okay, you know what? We'll listen on port 80 tonight. Feeling a little port 80 tonight. I don't know about you. Congratulate yourself, chat. Pat on the back. Let's see if we can get initial access and then let's table this for tomorrow in our goddamn idiocy. My fault, we'll blame me. But let's make a product control file where it is just a bash script, correct? I think that's all that we need. And then we'll bash taxi, bash, bash. So we should listen on port 80. Pwncat's doing its thing. We have our SMB share. Can I put, hello, hello. Oh God, what the? What did I just do? I scared myself. So every now and again, according to that cron job, I don't know how often that runs, but cron tech F, it should just do it, right? Can you sanity check me chat? Am I doing this wrong? Let me go read chat while we're waiting. It should be executable because- Yes! Yes! Beeswax! <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. Hey, let's talk this through because I see some chat going to be like, hang on, I missed it, WTF. Um, what we saw, and I took no notes for this, Dir search found us the slash logs folder. The slash logs folder had forbidden on most of these logs. They were all zero bytes anyway, so they didn't matter. But management.log did have some results and we could see this is presumably like piece by output like process monitoring to see what's actually going on in the system. Granted, I might get a little bit of a mind boggling because I think like, oh, well that's in the past. I don't know if that's working right now. Presumably cron is running on a scheduled possibility. We notice that it is actually using cron, presumably to run chmod777. So all world readable, all world writable, all world executable on this file called web control in the IT department folder. Now the IT department folder name matches the directory that we saw inside of the SMB share as that world readable and writable anonymous login allowed location. It did the same for product control 
and then it ran both product control and web control. So I guess either one, we could have just tried to hijack or craft or create our own. So that's all that we did. And this is all credit to chat because I'm too much of an idiot to think of it on my own. We just write and create our own product control file. That's a simple bash script because we know it's invoked with bash and then it just uses a reverse shell from rev shells. We could have done either product control or web control, but because of our SMB client connection, we can just simply put that there as we did, wait for cron to trigger, and then Pwncat is listening to catch that, and we'll have our local.txt. Perfect timing to at least get local access. We should have done that years ago. I, you know how the easy difficulty is like a slap in the face? It's like, hey, this box is for kindergartners. <laughs> you could solve this box if you're in diapers. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. A lot of cool stuff coming down the pipe. I would love for you to come join jh.live slash allthingscyber. We'll see you on Thursday for that great webinar with Daniel Lowry, uh, Sophie, and the, some of the great incredible folks from ACI. We'll talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions, goals, what we're seeing for our own personal development within cybersecurity in the industry. And I don't know, just kind of what we see uh, on the horizon. Totally just speculation. Video recording with Merrill, video recording with Anuj, video recording with Nordgaren. So much stuff coming down the pipeline. Content popping back out again next week. Finally getting some things prepped. And uh, Code Mash the week after. So thank you so much for hanging. If you haven't, please do take a look at 100 Days of Yara. Should be awesome. See you guys later. You don't need me here. See ya. <laughs>